Hi, I'm Jeff Rudner. I'm the president and CEO of Exhibit Lighting Group. We originally started Exhibit Lighting Group to provide theatrical lighting at a very high level of creativity. Through the years, I think the company's really evolved to provide our clients with an array of different services to meet all of their production needs. I think that on the whole, our company really enjoys the uh, the challenge in coming up with something that perhaps nobody else would come up with. I think our clients enjoy the collaborative effort that we have with them and come up with something that speaks to their marketing needs and gets in depth with the culture of their company and delivers the message that they want delivered to the public. The first time I met the folks at Eurocopter, I was introduced to uh, Brenda Ruland, who's the Vice President of Marketing for the company. Brenda, I, I'm proud to say, is, uh, has become a, a friend over the years. Her objective has always been the same, is to introduce a product, to tell a story about that product, and to sell helicopters. The challenge, of course, in, in working with Eurocopter is to develop a different type of reveal event every single year. We originally started working with Eurocopter eight years ago and the bar was set. At that point, the following year was to be more grand, more out of the box, more exciting, louder, bigger, better, brighter. So now we get to 2012, it was Eurocopter's 20th anniversary. So now the challenge is to marry the ability to reveal a helicopter and the ability to tell the story of Eurocopter itself. This is the type of challenge that we really thrive on, and I think that uh, it's the stuff that we live for. It's the stuff that I itch to, to come up with. Well, we decided that we needed uh, to bring something new to the Eurocopter show this year. We took their ideas, basically, that they wanted to celebrate their 20th anniversary, and they really wanted to show a lot of the historical things that, had, that they'd done. And somehow Jeff hit on the idea of, I think this came out of, out of um, the old uh, Bowwinkle cartoons where there was something called Fractured Fairy Tales. And the opening of that was somebody introducing a book and uh, sort of once upon a time thing. So that's where we started and we riffed on from there. What if we had our master of ceremonies get up on a stage and say, I want to tell you a story. What would happen if our MC said once upon a time as the idea progressed we decided that we would develop this as a story time theater, a masterpiece theater. And the book, rather than being on a very small scale, would be on a huge scale, a gigantic book. Um, we knew that some of the challenges that were coming with creating this thing were a, a whole different way of looking at projection, a whole different way of creating content for a live trade show event. And as we, we, we got deeper into it, um, it sort of took on a life of its own. The content itself had directly linked to the experience that the viewer would have. That experience needed to be very grand, majestic, and magical. It needed to incorporate the passion and the legacy that Eurocopter is. It was really neat to see it come to life. Uh, we had spent a lot of time as far as building the book. The book itself is physical. It's created to scale, um, and it's meant to feel like this massive book. There's wind simulation, wind density. The pages themselves were created using a cloth simulation, actually, and we dialed that in so that it mimicked paper flying across this 40-foot range. One of the things we're passionate about is doing projects that aren't normal. There's nothing straightforward about what we did with Eurocopter. How do you have a screen that falls apart and reveals a helicopter? How do you do it so you don't have projectors sitting right in front and, and, and the audience comes in and knows exactly what's going on? Figuring out how to use the, the, the content that was created but make it so that way it can be cued with a live speaker. It's fun to be part of a team where we have to push ourselves to make these ideas work. It was a great creative process of how to make this, this vision and this dream of this story come alive. We as a team pride ourselves on being able to come up with solutions that nobody else can. Hi, my name is Brenda Ruland. I'm Vice President of Communications for American Eurocopter. I've had a relationship with Jeff Rudner now for several years and he never disappoints me. We talked about what we needed to do, 
what, what my anticipation for, for a successful show was. As usual, Jeff and his team have come through. This is going to be, it's so marvellous. They have done such a fantastic job. I'm so pleased with the outcome. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the audience reaction at uh, the HAI. When I received uh, Brenda's follow-up email, uh, congratulating us on the, uh, the partnership and success of the show, uh, I was thrilled. Everybody worked so well together to deliver on the highest level of our clients' expectations and beyond. Ultimately, the measurement of success with this project is how happy is the client? Because when the client's happy, then we're successful. And in this case, the a patting on the back or the shaking hands or the hugs and the thank yous from our client really spoke to the success of the project. And that's our story. Ladies and gentlemen, Eurocomer is proud to introduce you to the latest element.